Hello there Pixel Pushers, Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo tutorial, this time quite sort of graphical in nature. So uh, what can you do with a background like this or a background like that? So it's essentially a blank document with a <coughs> layer fill and you obviously put a gradient on it and choose the colours and you might recognize some of these i'm not obviously haven't put the um, identifying branding on it these are just colored backgrounds but you might recognize that um, colored background where the gradient goes from the bottom up to the um, two-thirds of the way up in that two-tone blue color <clears throat> or you might recognize that one from a few years ago from a movie poster where you've got from yellow to a dark deep red <clears throat> this one is from um, uh, Pixar's Incredibles um, that I've just mocked up and this one looks very similar to the uh, Disney Plus uh, streaming channel background with obviously their logo and the um, and the animation which clearly I'm not going to be putting on here but just to give you an idea of what this um, what you could potentially use it for so let's first of all create it and then we'll show you what you could potentially put on it and the rest of it is obviously down to yourselves and what you do creatively this is just creating the background so first of all we want to go to file a new and um, if it's for the web it's for digital only then choose the web if it's for print then obviously you choose an appropriate print resolution uh, size but I'm going to go with um, web for now make sure you've got the right um, density of pixels again depends on what you want it for landscape or portrait in this case landscape is fine click on create so we're at the blank document now we just go to layer new fill layer and um, we don't want a solid color we want to in the main have radial um, uh, uh, gradation and then don't worry about the colors just yet center it and just pull the gradient tool which is automatically highlighted when you click on uh, the radiant option so just reduce the size of that document a little bit so we know where we're um, pulling this out to <clears throat> now we can change the colors we're on the radiant we're on the gra uh, graduated gradient tool sorry we're on the um, it's a radial and we click on the uh, the color and that point there is the center point which is the light color so we click on that and you obviously you pick we'll go for green this time we won't do the same as the others let's go for a nice dark green in the center and then for the outer color we don't want gray we'll have a a light green okay so you obviously choose what you want so let's just have a light green okay so that's our gradient done now we can position it wherever we want to we might want it to go from this corner to to that corner or we might want it to go from the center out and then we can choose how we want the gradient to behave in the actual document by pulling this center point okay so once you've done that that's your gradient background created so that's no different to what we did there or what we did there the only thing i've done different is where i've positioned the gradient and if i click that gradient again and i click the layer then i can move this let me just move that round i can move, move this down And maybe I want to just move it so that the gradient occurs from the bottom outwards. Um, we can actually reverse that. Let's just reverse the size of that, the position of that. That will probably work better. Okay, say something like that position it where you think it works and you can obviously experiment with that 
what works for you. Okay, so that's essentially it. New file, new, choose the resolution and the file type you want uh, or one of the presets and, um, and then go to layer and new fill layer and then obviously choose what kind of gradient you want. Now what can you do with these? This is a very quick tutorial. What can you do with these? Well, with this one, you could put some text on it. So I've just put some text on it give it a color position it where you want to so it could be a slide it could be a presentation it could be something to catch um, a, a graphic at the beginning of a video or you could put some graphics on it some shapes and actually add a gradient within that if you wanted to or put an outline around it uh, however you want to do it and this is just these shapes are just done with um, here with these tools here nothing uh, nothing special there and then on the other one, if I just show you, um, yeah, that's what I used. Uh, let's just go back to, on this one, I've put a, a cutout, a silhouette of a, a, of a person, which in fact is this here. So cut this um, uh, cosplayer out and then copy and pasted it into the layer that you're trying to put it in, but then change the parameters of it uh, by putting an overlay and of course we can do that just by clicking on the effects tab uh, which is just here uh, next to the layers and the adjustment layers and we can put a color overlay so if you take that color overlay off there's your image color overlay and I chose black and then I put a slight Gaussian blur on it on the edge of that and then I put an outer shadow okay as well so if you just zoom into there you can see that just there an outer shadow so without it just adds a bit of depth to it and in fact the outer shadow is a darker shade of blue so it blends in with it but it does add to a 3d uh, effect to it okay and of course i can move this you know wherever i want to and all the parameters will go with it you could add two or three uh, and actually make it a, a bit of a quiz slide where you've got uh, famous characters with distinctive um, silhouettes and you could sort of say name this character or name this famous person or name this um, movie actor so all sorts of things that you can apply this principle to once you get an idea is making the background more interesting rather than it just being white background black background or indeed a 50 percent gray background so give that a go and uh, leave me some uh, comments and uh, any feedback what you think and perhaps even share some of your own uh, end results would be great okay so uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, do give us a like thank you